Hi, I'm Will Torrent and today I'm here with Guitard and I'm going to show you how to make these delicious spiced rum and raisin chocolate brownies inspired by a trip to the spice aisle, Grenada. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to soak these delicious, really plump raisins in spices, orange juice, orange zest and some rum because that is what's going to make it taste delicious. So we've got rum, we've got fresh orange juice going in there and we've also got some lovely orange zest as well that's going to give us a really nice citrusy kick and goes really nicely with the rum as well little swig of vanilla extract and then we've got our spices now Grenada is known for its spices it's got lots of lovely nutmeg and mace growing everywhere. So we want that to really come through into our brownies. So we've got nutmeg, cinnamon, and just a little pinch of cloves as well. We don't want too much of the cloves because it might go a little bit medicinal. So just a little bit of cloves in there. So then what we just need to do is just stir that all around and let the raisins soak up all that orange juice, rum, and spices. We're going to bring that to the boil and then we're going to place that into a container, cling film it and leave it in the fridge overnight to infuse. So we've had our raisins soaking overnight in that, all that lovely rum and orange juice and spices so we can leave those to one side. And now we can melt our chocolate and butter together. So I tend to use salted butter. I just find that it brings out a little bit of extra flavour. And then I'm going to use the Guitard Music Foncée 70% chocolate. And the reason I'm using that is it's got a really lovely warm pudding undertone. So it's almost a little bit of a smooth bitterness, not too sweet. And also with those rum soaked raisins, we're really going to start to get a really delicious flavour. Almost a little bit festive with those spices, but we just want to now melt this nice and slowly with the butter over a pan of simmering water till it's all melted through. So our chocolate and butter have melted together, all nice and smooth, no more lumps in there, we're just going to place that to one side so we can start to whisk up our eggs and sugar. So we've got three eggs going into here. And then of course we've got that lovely muscovado sugar, which is going to give us all that lovely fudginess to our brownie. We're going to whisk that nice and high for about five minutes until it comes together nice and large, nice sabayon, and then we'll mix in the chocolate. So our sugar and egg mixture has been mixing for five minutes and you can see that it's come up all nice and light and fluffy as well. When you pick it up you can put a little figure of eight in and that's kind of a little tip when to know that your mixture is ready. Then what we're going to do is going to place it back on here and we're going to pour our slightly cooled chocolate mixture into our sabayon mix and we're going to do give that another little whisk just so it all incorporates together not too much because we don't want to overwork the mixture but we just want to make sure it's all incorporated now of course by whisking the eggs and the sugar together we're going to get that lovely crust on the top and nice and gooey in the middle. So then what we can do is we can pop a little bit of flour through a sieve. Now if you wanted to make this even more chocolatey you could take 10% of the flour out and add some of the Guitard cocoa powder as well and it will give a really lovely richness to the brownie. So before we stir the mixture we can now add our cooled raisins. So they've been soaking in all those spices, the rum, the orange juice and the zest. So they can go in as well. That's going to give us a lovely intense flavour. And then nice and gently we can then mix all that through to a nice batter. Now again you don't have to use the raisins if you don't want to. You could substitute any other uh, dried fruit or just take the fruits out completely. Add the spices, add some nuts. It's really up to you. So once that's all incorporated we can then bring in our baking tray just lined with a little bit of baking parchment 
And then we've got that lovely brownie mixture going in there. So we can just spread that out nicely. Make sure you get all of the mixture out as well because we don't want to waste any of that delicious chocolate. Now, of course, you could bake this straight away, but we want an added bit of texture on the top. So we've got some cocoa nibs and some demerara sugar, which is going to give us a lovely crunchy topping to our brownie. So we've got some lovely cocoa nibs. And then we've got a little sprinkling of some demerara sugar as well. And that's going to give us a lovely, like I said, lovely crunch on top of the brownies. And then these go into the oven about 180 degrees C for about 25 to 30 minutes. And once they're cool, leave them in the fridge, slice them up, enjoy, and think you're in the Caribbean. So our brownies have been baked. We've let them cool and get all fudgy in the fridge overnight. Now is the moment of truth. We're gonna cut it up. So you've got that lovely crust on the top. Got the crust from obviously the sugar and the eggs, but you've also got that texture from the cocoa nibs and the sugar as well. Okay, so once we get all that out, you, you can then see, you get that lovely dense fudginess in the middle. You can see all those lovely raisins in there as well. And there we have some delicious spiced rum and raisins brownies using some fantastic Guitard 70% chocolate.